Thank you very much. My name is Łukasz Gajowy, and I will tell you about Dmetrix API for about seven minutes or so. Uh, this is an introductory, introductory session, not much documentation in that area, so I figured I would share some knowledge here at the BIM Summit. So let's get started. And what's Metrix API for, right? So it's an API that lets you collect relevant information from your data processing pipeline about its state and performance. It lets you look inside the pipeline and measure all the function, how, how, it function, how it functions. So in short, thanks to BIM metrics API, BIM pipelines are observable. So if I'm new to that area and I, and, and I have never worked with any kind of metrics before, where should I start learning this? What should I look for? First, let's focus on the three types of metrics that you can, currently, currently can use uh, in Apache Beam. You currently can store the metrics in the form of gauges, counters, and distributions. Gauges, the first time I will explain. Uh, it holds only the latest value out of all the reported values. So if you're looking for an example for that, think of, for example, about uh, measuring the size of an unprocessed messages backlog in some I.O. that you're creating. So if you want to show the current size, you would probably use the gauge metric. Then there's counter. Counter is a simple long value that can be either incremented or decremented. And that's pretty much about it. So if you want to calculate how many specific messages did you have in your data processing pipeline, you could use a counter. Or for example, if you want to calculate how many errors were there in the pipeline, that's another example of using a counter. And then there's distribution. A distribution holds the statistical distribution of all the reported values. So if you want to currently have minimum or maximum value calculated out of all the reported values or some sum, uh, that would be the metric type that you will use. Now let's fly briefly through some facts about using metrics API. So first to define a namespace. Naturally, this is to distinguish things, to, to group related metrics together. Then you of course define a name and choose a type. In this, in this case, this is a counter. And then after you're created that, you're good to go and you can use that interface practically anywhere in your pipeline. So for example, in a process element method, as I'm showing you on the slide, or in a start bundle method to measure something about bundles, or in a finish bundle, and, and so on and so on. After you collected all your metrics, you can uh, gather them. Uh, you probably want to gather them. This is an example of how you would do that. You get your metrics from a pipeline result and apply a series of filters on that in a metrics query. So here we're filtering uh, by namespace and name to get all the metrics by the same namespace and name. So this is easy. But what is at step doing here? Underneath in BIM, metrics are collected per each step in special metrics containers. So that's an important fact to remember. If you don't know that and you don't specify the add step filter, you will get all the metrics for all the steps in the pipeline. And depending on your use case, it may or may not be what you want. But there's another caveat that you must know about. Uh, reprocessing work can also affect your measurements. So if you're looking only for the last reported value like engage, that's probably not a big deal for you. But if some reprocessing will increment your counters too many times, uh, you will simply get an invalid metric. So that might become a problem. And this is why BIM lets you define attempted metric and committed metrics. Attempted metrics are the ones that are collected across all attempts out of all executions of all par parts of the pipeline. So if some failed attempts will be there, uh, the, the, the reports from those failed attempts will get included too. This is why BIM defines the concept of uh, committed metrics. Uh, those are the ones that are collected only, fr only from the successful attempts. So no failed attempts here. And this is probably what you would like to use uh, when you are counting only on the successful results, but please remember that this is supported currently only in Dataflow Runner. I previously mentioned 
that you collect your metrics from pipeline results. But this is, of course, not the only way to get metrics in Beam currently. You can use some special metrics pushers and sinks to get those metrics uh, in some external systems. Or you can use special metric forwarding mechanisms that are uh, built around the metric containers. Metrics pusher is a class that periodically pushes some metrics, gets those metrics from metric containers, and pushes them to metric sinks. And metric sinks simply forward that to some external systems, such as graphite. There are currently two metric sinks, uh, HTTP sync and graphite sync, but you could easily define your own. It's only one class to, to define, and use it uh, by supplying that to your class path and uh, passing an appropriate pipe, pipeline option. This is all described in this proposal that I'm showing you, and there's a link to that so you can read on later. Then, as I mentioned, there are mechanisms to, uh, in, in particular runners to forward the metrics to the data processing engine. So, for example, uh, the Flink runner uses the native Flink metrics and accumulators so that you could get those metrics in the Flink dashboard. And we also have some uh, worker internal code to, to get those metrics and pass them to jobs dashboard and display as custom counters in Google Cloud Dataflow. Although the ideas I just show you I are very nice and useful, please remember that currently they are not supported equally in all the SDKs and all the runners, as, as I showed you. Uh, also, there's another problem in that uh, state of the code base right now, that there's some duplication between SDKs. For example, the, the API for metric querying uh, is duplicated uh, for Java SDK and Python SDK, so it's implemented twice. And here comes portability, and it will blink, bring a little bit of help. Uh, first, uh, it's in this proposal, uh, it defines uh, a common protocol buffer generic format for metrics uh, that can be used to either uh, parse or pass to the runners the, the, the metrics in, in a similar way uh, practically everywhere in the portability framework. Uh, this format is called monitoring info and you can find it in that proposal or in metrics proto file in BIM's code base because, code base because it's already there. So monitoring info looks like this, and uh, it, it can be used to define either user metrics or system metrics, so it's not only user metrics right now in portability. Uh, other than that, it's not uh, so tightly coupled with uh, namespace name and step. You can practically label those metrics arbitrarily as a p-collection metrics or a p-transfer metrics. Uh, or you could even uh, provide your own labels for that so that you could then query them using those labels. Uh, other than that, uh, there's a list in metrics proto file that specifies all the metrics that are expected to be supported by any SDK, by any portable SDK. I listed the system metrics here, uh, but of course user metrics are also expected to be supported by all the runners. And uh, I know that there's uh, some uh, metrics like this in Python SDK. It's more advanced in that area. There's also some work in Java SDK to support sampled byte size. Right now, there's an open pull request, so you could expect that soon, probably. And lastly, I'd like to mention this proposal by Alex and Ryan. Uh, its goal is to define a unified way to query the metrics, so this is to avoid the duplication that I mentioned to you before. Uh, the idea here is to have a common interface for metrics defined in protocol buffer files and RPC methods that can be simply wrapped on the SDK side, and the actual querying mechanisms will be implemented on the runner side. So. Uh, that practically avoids all the duplication and all the uh, diversion between those APIs that we would like to avoid here. So yeah, that's great. And thank you. That would be all. Uh, I showed you some pr proposals that I find interesting in that area. I showed you how you can use that metrics API. 
Uh, if you're more curious, you can obviously dig in and read more. Uh, I will share that presentation and there will be a recording, so yeah, thank you.